It's easy to think that in order to properly begin a plant-based diet lifestyle, one needs a complete kitchen overhaul. Have you ever felt this? Some people toss out most of what they have in the kitchen and then restock their pantry shelves, fridge, and freezer with new foods, seasonings, and spices. Others go all out to splurge on multiple pieces of expensive new kitchen equipment, like new cookware, an Instapot, air fryer, food processor, or a high-speed blender. Both seem to be pretty expensive undertakings, don't you think? But here's the more important question. Do you really need to do all these things in order to be successful in eating plant-based? I don't think so. I think it's more important to ensure you have a few basic key essential tools and utensils for your kitchen first if you really want fast and enjoyable plant-based cooking. Friend, I'm excited to do this Smart Starter Tip series for you because I want to give you practical tips and guidance to help you on your diet journey and show you how to make your transition in a simpler and more affordable way. So tune in to this episode because I want to tell you about one key kitchen essential you absolutely need if you want to quickly make meals using whole plant-based foods. So if you want to learn how to make this transition more enjoyable and ways to save you time and energy in the kitchen, listen in. Let's dive into the second smart starter tip together. Welcome to the Plant-Based Eating Made Easy podcast. I'm your host, Anna Zin, Plant-Based Registered Dietitian and Transition Coach. Hi friend, do you want to regain your health with plant-based eating but feel overwhelmed and lost about how to do it? Do you feel it'll be hard to change your meat-heavy diet and impossible with working, running the home, or chasing after the grandkids? If so, you're in the right place. Here you'll find simple strategies, clear nutrition guidance, and practical tips to help you thrive plant-powered with more energy. So if you're ready to ditch the guesswork and transform your health the stress-free way, cozy up now with a hot cup of tea or listen while you walk and let me show you how doable plant-based eating can be. Let's do this. Hi friend, if you didn't know, the Plant Power Life Transformation Course Bundle is still available, but not for long. It'll be expiring in 10 days. The Plant Power Life Transformation Course is a six-module, self-paced online course that comes with video lessons, money-saving tips, essential skills, practical strategies, kitchen hacks, and easy plant-based recipes, which can be used to make family meals or meals for a single person. I've created this course to help you start and thrive eating plant-based with confidence. It doesn't matter if you don't know much about cooking or have been a heavy meat eater for three decades. This course doesn't assume you have great cooking skills or are already a full vegan or plant-based eater. The course will take you from the ground up, teaching you the key essentials you need to master the basics of plant-based eating in as little as six weeks and help you make a smooth, enjoyable transition. This course also incorporates all four core pillars of my Plant Nourish Transition Success Method, which are mindset building, foundation setting, smart recipe integration, and lifestyle success strategies. But I want to support you even more in your plant-based diet transition this year. So I've put together this limited-time Plant Power Life Transformation Course Bundle just for you. This means if you enroll in the Plant Power Life Transformation Course before midnight on January 26th, you'll get these additional two bonus resources for free. The first bonus is this. It's a month-long, done-for-you plant power meal plan. In this meal plan, you enjoy four weekly plant power menus for a month, featuring the easy-to-make plant power life transformation course recipes and a few others thrown in. If you're looking for affordable yet tasty plant-based recipes that are quick to put together, this meal plan is for you. By using this meal plan, You'll save yourself much time, energy, and stress trying to put together plant-based recipes yourself into a plan to follow. The second bonus is this. It's a plant-based meal prep recipe guidebook with top meal planning tips, a plant-based ingredient substitutions list, and bonus bulk meal prep and freezer-friendly recipes you can make for yourself and loved ones to enjoy. This is perfect if you want to avoid cooking constantly or have a busy schedule so you need to meal prep ahead of time. 
So that's the exclusive PPLT course bundle of three I've put together for you because I want to really support you on your plant-based diet journey. Whether you're looking to begin, have just begun, or have been struggling in your transition for a while, and realize this is because you don't have the right essential tools and strategies in your transition toolbox to make it all work with your health challenges, busy life, and schedule. So don't wait. Go to the link in the show notes or to plantnourish.com forward slash PPLT course to roll right away so you don't miss this value-packed PPLT course bundle, which expires at midnight on Friday, January 26. Now let's get into today's topic. Contrary to what many people think, you don't need to do a major overhaul of your kitchen in order to succeed in this new lifestyle. What's actually more important is whether you have the right transition tools in your toolbox to make this new way of eating work in your life and unique situation. I broke that down for you in previous episodes into four key essentials, having the right mindset, setting a strong foundation with essential skills and knowledge, integrating good plant-based recipes with smart strategies into your life, and having lifestyle success strategies to use in the midst of life's challenges. These form the four core pillars of my Plant Nourish Transition Success Method. So if you truly want success eating a plant-based diet, focus your time and attention on building up these four critical areas instead of on researching what to restock your kitchen with and which gadgets or equipment to get. Now, if you remember in the last episode, the first smart starter tip of the series, we looked at the importance of having the right intention or a strong why for beginning your plant-based diet journey. This is a part of building a plant power mindset, which is a core pillar of my plant nourish transition success method. For this episode, the second smart starter tip, I want to look at a different core pillar, and that's foundation setting. This involves gaining the right essential knowledge and skills to build a truly successful plant-based diet lifestyle. Today, I want to focus on one key area within this pillar, and that's how to set up your kitchen the right way for enjoyable plant-based cooking. And to do that, you need to know what kitchen essentials you need to have on hand. Be assured, the kitchen tools and utensils I recommend you to get are not expensive gadgets like Instant Pots or Air Fryers. These gadgets are all nice to have items, but they're not crucial. I'm a firm believer that everyone can make simple, tasty plant-based meals using the right key essential kitchen tools, having good recipes, and first making better use of the equipment they already have at home. So what's one of these key essentials you'll need if you want fast, enjoyable plant-based cooking? It's having the right kind of cutting knife. Now remember, The best foods to eat for optimal health are the minimally or unprocessed whole plant-based foods. These include fruits, vegetables, starchy tubers, beans, whole grains, mushrooms, nuts, and seeds. Since many of these whole plant-based foods come in the raw or unprocessed form, you will naturally need to do some prep work, like cutting, in order to use them in cold dishes like salads or to create a hot dish with them, like a chili, stew, or casserole. That's why having the right kind of cutting knife to use in the kitchen is essential. I cannot stress that enough. Especially if you don't want to spend more time than you need to prepping and cooking and want to actually enjoy the process of cooking itself. This point was brought home to me on my trip to Asia last summer. I knew I had some good knives at home and had used a particular one for over two decades. It was a present from my first boyfriend who then went on to get a dessert chef certification at a culinary school. This is a story for another day. But I never appreciated just how good they were or how easy it was to cut things until we went on this trip. In Asia, we stayed in an apartment and used the kitchen utensils provided there. And one day, soon after we arrived, I was trying to cut potatoes and carrots, was having a really hard time. The process was slow, it was hard to even slice the potatoes and carrots evenly. That's when I took a closer look at the large kitchen knife I had in my hand and saw that it had a very long blade and wasn't that comfortable to hold. I even tried sharpening the knife, but it didn't help much. In fact, since I used my right hand a lot and had an issue with carpal tunnel syndrome before, this cutting was giving my hand discomfort. 
My husband, who then tried to cut the vegetables for me, also agreed that the knife wasn't very good. That's when I started to appreciate my good cutting knife back home and how I wished I had it with me then. So what kind of cutting knife should you get? If you had to choose just one knife to get for your kitchen and you want to be making good plant-based meals, then I would recommend you to get a good chef's knife. A chef's knife is usually 6 to 8 inches long with a smooth, sharp edge that rounds slightly at the tip. It's great to use for mincing, dicing, and chopping vegetables, fruit, and herbs, cutting starchy tubers like sweet potatoes, winter squashes, and slicing large fruits like cantaloupes and watermelons. You'll want one that is well-proportioned, so the blade isn't excessively long relative to the handle, and vice versa. For example, the best chef's knife that I have has a blade that is 6 inches long, or 50 and a half centimeters, and a handle that is 5 inches long, or 12 centimeters. It also has a little bit of weight to it, which is actually helpful in creating more stability when cutting vegetables and other produce. The one that I have weighs about 160 grams, or 5 and a half ounces. Know that chef's knives come in quite a few different sizes, weights, and at different price ranges. Where can you get them? Many stores sell chef's knives, such as Walmart, Target, and Williams-Sonoma, and you can even buy them online. I've even gotten a decent one recently from a thrift store. But I recommend actually going into a store where you can visually see and test out the different knife options available in your budget range. If you can, take a little bit of time to hold one in your hand for a few minutes and pretend you're chopping with it so you can choose one that will work best for you. Remember, it needs to feel comfortable in your hand when chopping, mincing, or dicing. Picking a good chef's knife is like picking a long-term kitchen companion that will stay with you for years to come, so it pays off to put some thought and care into this decision. So please don't just pick the cheapest one or one that looks nice visually. If it doesn't cut well, this knife may give you more handache and frustration later down the road as you're trying to cut a variety of whole plant-based foods and can put you off wanting to be in the kitchen at all. A flimsy one may also end up being a safety hazard if you're having trouble using it to hold foods down well enough to cut them. So a good chef's knife is really one kitchen essential that's worth investing a little in. Within reason and within your budget, of course. After all, a good kitchen knife is one tool you'll use a lot. And if you have a good sturdy one, it can last you for years. Like my favorite chef's knife, which has been with me for over two decades now, and I'm still using it. My husband and I both love to use this chef's knife to cut produce, and it's the kitchen knife we use most in cooking and prepping, hands down. So today we looked at one kitchen essential out of about 10 that will save you time, energy, and make plant-based cooking that much more enjoyable. It's making sure you have at least one good knife to use in the kitchen for cutting up whole plant-based foods. And for that, I recommend a good quality chef's knife. What I've shared today is part of core pillar two in my Plant Nourish Transition Success Method, foundation setting. I hope you see that you don't need a complete kitchen overhaul, but there are some crucial basic kitchen tools and utensils you'll need if you really want to save time and energy in the kitchen. And not to mention, actually enjoy cooking with whole plant-based foods. Having the right kitchen tools is so important that I actually devote a whole lesson to this in the first module of the Plant Power Life Transformation course. That lesson is called Transformational Kitchen Reset. In it, I go over what the top essential kitchen tools and utensils are to check that you have in your kitchen as you're getting started into this lifestyle. But know that these useful kitchen utensils and tools don't need to cost a bomb to purchase. In fact, some of my favorite kitchen utensils and tools I've gotten over the years and use often in the kitchen for plant-based cooking come from secondhand stores or dollar stores. Now here's an action step you can take today. Take a few minutes to go into your kitchen and see if you have a chef's knife already. If so, test it to see how comfortable and well it cuts before deciding if you need to get a better one for your plant-based diet journey. If it feels comfortable to hold and is of a good length and size, but you're finding it hard to cut certain foods easily, then it could just be that your knife needs sharpening, which is the next thing I would recommend. 
This is a skill I also teach students within the Plant Power Life Transformation course. I remember how much in survival mode I used to be after our family and I moved to plant-based eating. I was trying to work, take care of the home, young children, doing long-distance caregiving, and prep and cook plant-based meals for my family. It was stressful, and I felt like I was constantly juggling, trying to keep all these balls in the air, and just trying to get through each day. I realize now that this was because I had no method, process, or strategy then of how to eat plant-based in the midst of life and its busyness. Then my breaking point came one afternoon when my toddler daughter kept pleading with me to play with her. I was in the kitchen, of course, and felt so torn. I wanted to play with her, but I knew I couldn't, not with all the chores I had to do and dinner to get on the table in two hours. So I didn't. It was definitely a massive mom guilt moment for me then. But that also became a turning point for me, because I knew things couldn't go on like this and that things had to change. So that's when I started to think differently about plant-based meals and began to set myself this challenge. I started to ask myself, what can I realistically make in 30 minutes or less that was nutrient-packed, plant-based, tasty, yet super easy to make? And since I was tired of wasting time and energy searching online for plant-based recipes, I started to create my own. That's how I end up creating so many easy-to-make, simple yet tasty plant-based recipes. Recipes that I share now with my clients and Plant Power Life Transformation course students. Living a plant-based diet lifestyle also became so much easier once I began using many prep and cooking hacks for whole plant-based foods and time-saving meal prep strategies. This all made eating and staying plant-powered more enjoyable and easier to do in the midst of life's busyness. That's why now, even though life is still busy with work, home, and family, I find that the plant-based meal planning, prep, and cooking is no longer stressful, time-consuming, or overwhelming. It's because I have specific smart strategies, simple recipes, and cooking hacks in place. And that's what I want for you, too. Maybe like what I experienced, you're struggling now with trying to manage your health and all the different responsibilities you have in life. Yet you desperately want to get healthy again, to really feel better without depending on more meds. You're tired of managing your health with pills and long to have more time and energy to spend with those you love. And you know that eating plant-based will help you get there. But you don't know how it would be possible in your current situation to start this lifestyle shift with your limited time and energy level. Or maybe you've already started your diet transition, but so far you found it overwhelming, time-consuming, and energy-draining, trying to figure everything out on your own. Friend, I want to show you an easier, smoother, and more affordable way to building a lasting Plant Power Life. This is why I created the Plant Power Life Transformation course, because I want to give you the essential tools you need to make plant-based eating work in your current life and schedule. In a way that doesn't require hours in the kitchen, prepping and cooking. I've packed this course with key practical strategies, simple tasty recipes, essential skills, prep, cooking, and flavoring hacks because I want you to be able to confidently master the basics of plant-based eating and fit this new lifestyle easily into your current life. So if you're worried about starting plant-based eating because of the time and busyness factor, I want you to know that I created the Plant Power Life Transformation course for you. I want to save you energy, time, and stress trying to make this transition on your own and give you all the tools you need in your transition toolbox with a clear roadmap so you can reach those health and weight goals you desire for 2024. I want to help you start and stay plant-powered even through life's busyness. To find out more about the Plant Power Life Transformation course, go to plantnourish.com forward slash pplt course or see the link in the show notes. And if you want to enroll in this course, do it before midnight on January 26 to get the PPLT course bundle. You'll get not only the PPLT course, but also a bonus month-long done-for-you plant power meal plan and a bonus plant-based meal prep recipe guidebook. Let's get you started on your health transformation journey. I'll see you inside this course. Thank you for listening to the Plant-Based Eating Made Easy podcast. 
If this podcast has helped you, please rate and leave a written review on the Apple Podcast app or iTunes to let me know. Nothing will lift me up more than to read your review and see how this podcast has made a difference in your life. I also pick reviews to read on this show, so your review could be one of them. Come connect with me in my free Facebook community group, Beginners for Plant-Based Diet Success. Just go to bit.ly forward slash pb diet success. That's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash pb diet success. You can also subscribe and follow this podcast to get notified when a new episode goes live. Signing off now, this is Anna, and I wish you the best health always.